Hi there and welcome back to Greatness of Being. My name is Sonia Buena de la Torre. I'm a passionate life and energy coach and I work with women to help them to feel beautiful, confident, to come into their authentic power and to overcome self-doubt, self-criticism, shame, fear and all these things that holds us back. And today I want to share a little bit something about my own personal story because yes, I am a beautiful woman, yes, I feel good about myself. I am confident, not all the time. I struggle with things like everybody else, I'm not perfect. But my life is great. I feel blessed and grateful every day and I enjoy my life in a way that I've never done before. But it hasn't been like this, my life. I've been working hard for this. And sometimes when people come and say, oh, well, it's so easy for you to feel beautiful and confident because you are. But that's not the way it is because there are so many beautiful women who feel like uh, they are not good enough. They judge themselves and everything and I've been one of them. So looking back, I started to feel bad about myself at a very early age. And when I was 14, I was already on my first diet because I thought I was fat. And that was only the beginning. Um, I uh, was a little bit overweight, but I've never been like a hundred pounds overweight like I thought I would be. Um, I was insecure. I was ashamed of my body. I hated my body. I was my worst inner critic. I had a killer critic voice inside of me who was hammering at me every day, telling, every day telling me, uh, that I'm not good enough, that I'm ugly, that I'm fat, um, and I was really a big mess. I didn't enjoy my beauty, I didn't enjoy uh, when I was young. I felt just horrible about myself, and I mean it. It seems long time ago, I don't feel that way anymore. But I felt like this most of my life. I didn't enjoy my sexuality because I didn't feel good in my body. I was comparing myself all the time, of course, and everybody else was more beautiful, more successful, they had a more beautiful body. You get the picture. That was how I was living for most of my life. And at some point in my life, I had enough. I just didn't want to live like this anymore. I knew there's something more out there than me feeling bad about myself. And I remember the day um, I was in Thailand with my uh, boyfriend at the time and we were on a beautiful beach. Like there was nobody else. And you should think, you know, like, what a paradise, alone on this beautiful beach, you just enjoy. But you know what? The only thing I was really aware of is that I felt horrible being on the beach in a bikini. I didn't enjoy it. I felt bad about myself. So I made a decision that day. I decided I'm going to do whatever it takes to love myself. I will do anything that I need to do to feel good about myself and to live a life that I know I can live. I was ready to spend all my money, my time, my energy, everything. I didn't know anything about energy at that time actually, but I was ready to do everything. And I promised myself that I'm not going to go on vacation anymore until I feel better about myself. That's just how it was. So then I started. I, and I went deep. I worked hard for years on myself. I went back and healed old beliefs, um, traumas. Um, I dig deep into energy and into um, old childhood uh, woundings and memories. For years, I went through hell at times because it was very, very painful to face what was inside of me and shameful. But for me, there was no way back. I knew I won't stop until I get out of this black hole. And um, I spent ten thousands of dollars uh, and uh, euros, I actually come from Europe, um, to work on myself. And in years, it took me a long time, it took me a long time. But because I went the long way, the hard way, I'm able to help women, women in a way 
quicker and more effective way. And I'm grateful for all of this. I'm grateful now. And if I wouldn't have gone through all of this, I would not be able to help women or to help uh, anybody who's struggling in a really effective way. Because this transformation does not happen overnight. You cannot think it away. You cannot pretend it's everything I And you can even say, well, leave, take me the way I am. And if you don't like me, it's not about anybody else. It's about yourself inside. And only you can make the change. And I'm sharing this with you also because I want you to know I have I felt really, really bad about myself when I was young. I was suffering a lot. I was uh, wasting a lot of time being miserable. But that was just my process. It was just my path. And I've worked very hard to become who I am today. And I'm sharing this also because if you feel there's more to life, if you feel you would like to feel better about yourself, if you feel you would like to be more successful in your business, you would like to enjoy your sexuality better, you would like to have better relationships, whatever it is, it comes back to yourself how you feel about yourself. And there's no quick fix. There's not one book that you read and it's done because otherwise you would have done it before. So, and even if I keep repeating myself. I'm just so passionate about inner work and, uh, and transformation because it changed your life. It can change your life. It can change how you feel about yourself. It will change your relationships, um, your, your business, everything. How you treat your children, how you um, relate to people and most importantly how you relate to yourself. So even if it seems easy for beautiful women to feel beautiful and confident, don't uh, think that is. Um, you never know what's going inside of anybody. You never know what they're struggling with. So I went a long way to be here and I'm so happy that I'm here. I'm passionate, I love life, I love myself, I have so much to give and um, I'm ready to take it one step further in my life as well. Well, thank you for listening and um, taking the time to be part of my story today. And uh, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to share something more personal, something that gives you an idea where I come from. And I'm certainly going to share, share more in future. But for now, I wish you a fantastic Friday. Have the most wonderful weekend. Do something that makes you feel good. Do something that um, will help you to feel better about yourself. And I send you much love and light. Take care.